Hey everybody, it's Mike AK, that resale guy. We're going with a different angle today. Just, uh, you know, try to give you a little different view, see what's going on in the background here. So you're just not always sick of me at the same angle with my same backdrop over here. Yeah, we're just doing a little different today. Hopefully the light's right. Maybe I'll twist it just a little bit. Make sure it's not too dark. I'm gonna try to do my best again today to keep the number of edits limited. Friday's always my busiest day. Well, I should say Monday and Friday, always the busiest. Friday, I go to the auction in the morning, which I did again today. Uh, what we're gonna do after we go over sales, we're gonna play the what did Mike pay for it game. I bought three items today at the auction. And what I'll do is I'll put pictures of the auction uh, item up on the screen, give you, you know, 15 seconds or so to check it out, see what I paid for it. And uh, yeah, you can put all your answers in, you know, one comment down below. So I think that'll be fun for you. Uh, I bought some good stuff today. I did pay up a little bit, so not all cheap stuff. Uh, today I sold six items for right about $200. I didn't look at the totals page, but I kind of added it up on the screen here and see that I sold that much. First item, uh, this is a watch winder. It's Orbita or Orbita. I don't know exactly how it's pronounced. Uh, I bought this at the auction probably six months ago. It's been in my store a while. These are expensive watch winders. The comps on it were oh, well over $100, two, $300 for some of these that are brand new. Some of them are multi-watch winders and these get into some crazy money. I picked this up for just a few dollars. The problem was when you turned it on, it made a little noise. So what I did is I made a YouTube video. I put in the description of my listing. I said, search YouTube for Orbita watch winder eBay test, something like that. So they could go there and see the exact noise that it was making. And it obviously worked because shortly after I did that video, I got the sale. I originally had it at 99 or best offer. Somebody sent me an offer for 70 bucks shipped and I took it. Next item. I thought when I bought these figures in a toy bag from a Goodwill that they were all old Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. But these ones weren't. There were a couple Ninja Turtle ones in there, but these were called Biker Mice from Mars. Never heard of them. I guess they were from the late 80s. Uh, these toys had some decent value. Uh, there was four of them here. One of them was like riding on a motorcycle. And I'm looking at my screen here. It looks like it went for $29.99 plus shipping. So yeah, I guess you need to be on the lookout for biker mice from Mars. The next item is a bobblehead. I find lots of bobbleheads. I pass on lots of bobbleheads as well. There are some that sell for just a few dollars. I'm not really interested in those. If I'm putting them in my eBay store, I want them to sell for like $30 and up. This one here is an ASU Sparky mascot bobblehead. The mascots sell really good. It doesn't matter what sport. Usually to get the mascots, they're very popular and usually less made of them than the player ones. So this one here sells really good. They made several different versions. They made a baseball one, a basketball one, and this is just a general one where he's holding his pitchfork. And this one went for $24.99 plus shipping. Next item, it's another one of these Diamondback snakeskin hats. I've been selling a ton of these, selling them every couple days. Uh, here's another one, went for $24.99 with free shipping. The next item I showed in one of my thrift hauls from, actually it was an auction haul, where I went up to the other side of town, bought a bunch of stuff. This is a Hank Aaron anniversary reproduction of one of his really expensive figures. This was missing the bat, it was missing the box, but it still sold. Still got $12.99 plus shipping. And the last item I sold were some of these Fisher Price little people, but they were all animals and they were all from the Zoo Talkers series. They have little like round things on the bottom that I guess when you plug them into the playset, they make animal noises. Uh, so yeah, I bundled all those together. There was, I think 16 of them and it looks like the price was $25.99 plus shipping. So about $1.50 per figure. So if you see them out there, whether they're garage sales or maybe like a, a five or 10 for a dollar box, Definitely worth picking up because yeah, you can get a buck 50 a piece in lots for these. So yeah, it was a really good day of sales, 200 bucks, uh, six orders, very easy to ship out. They're all in smaller boxes and it's all ready to go to the post office. All right, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you some video that I took from the auction when I first got there today. I just scanned through a few of the tables so you can kind of see what they have at these auctions. Maybe you've never been to an auction. Maybe you're a little intimidated to go. They're, they're a lot of fun great way to pick up good inventory. So I'll just walk you through the first few tables. 
uh, and you'll see what's there. A lot of it is just household goods. You might see some electronics, some tools, uh, towels. I mean, there's literally anything you can think of can be at these auctions. So uh, we'll go through those. We'll do the what did Mike pay for it game. And I think that'll be it. So uh, we're gonna cut over to that. I'll say at this point, if you're new, you're watching this, you wanna see more content about thrifting, uh, going to thrift stores, selling on eBay, Amazon, antique booth, going to live auctions, all that kind of stuff, please hit that subscribe button and help support this channel. And now let's slide over and check out the auction. Okay, so here we are at Mesa Auction. Now, what they do is they have a bunch of these six foot tables set up throughout the room. And then there's just, like I said, varied boxes throughout. You see different ones with sports. Uh, here you just see some uh, individual items. So we got like, oh, well, that one has some video games in it. And we've got a MindFlex game. You got these helicopters. Majority of the stuff here is going to be used products. There are some new items, uh, but again, you just got to kind of check out in the box to see whether it's used items, new items, whatever it is. You got a bunch of laptops. These were all older laptops from like Windows 7 and older. A uh, bunch of bicycle helmets. Go around to the other side of the table here. You see they have pictures on the ground, a bunch of set So golf clubs. Usually when they have golf clubs, they're very low end clubs. But here you see we have household goods, wrapping paper, miscellaneous decorative stuff. I'm now looking at that one and there's some frames in there. Some of them were, were new. I could use those, but I didn't bid on them. This side over here again, more household goods collectibles, little figures, tennis rackets. Like I said, you find everything at these auctions. Uh, here's a bunch of towels. So if you needed junk towels to use, it's always good. If you have towels that you like wipe your dog off after they come in from the mud, it's a good place to buy them. You saw some uh, stereo equipment there. We got a couple boxes of Coke items. I didn't bid on them. And again, just more household decorations and those type of items gonna look over here real quick they put some bigger items in this section this is where they put a bunch of tools extension cords uh, oh I totally forgot that those were there I was gonna bid on those uh, kettlebells there but totally forgot that they had them it happens sometimes I see people write down what they want to bid on that day so they don't forget it's probably a good idea because I obviously forgot that I wanted to bid on those uh, over here again you just see a lot of household goods pans pots uh, glassware so yeah, just about everything you can think of is here. So if someone was single and moving out of their house and needed a bunch of good stuff, this is the way to go. You can get stuff here way cheaper than Goodwill. I mean, there were boxes and boxes of household items that sold for a dollar and two dollars and three dollars. Okay, here's item number one. This is a football autographed by Larry Fitzgerald of the Arizona Cardinals. You can see that's his signature right there. And this is one of these commemorative NFL footballs. Nice football in the box, but well, that's actually a pretty nice signature from Larry Fitzgerald. I actually have one right there as well, signed on a photo. So that matches up. So that's item number one. What did Mike pay? Now here is item number two. These are all made by Evolve. It looks like these are some sort of smart switch. So we got one, two, three, four, five of those. And then we got three of these Honeywell programmable touchscreen thermostats. So those are all in a box. How much did I pay for those? Now here's the last one. This is actually a pretty big box with games in here. I flipped through a few of them, but not all. I was trying to see if the games were in here. So there's a bunch of games in here. I don't know the exact count. What did I pay for this? All right, I'm back and hope, hopefully you guessed good. Let's go over the numbers that I paid for each of these items. Uh, first up, we had this Larry Fitzgerald autographed football. Now it's not certified. I'm gonna have to go pay to get it certified. It usually costs me about 10 bucks for items like this. Shouldn't have a problem getting it authenticated. I've seen his autograph several times. I've gotten him to sign stuff in person several times. Uh, this I paid, I'm gonna guess you're all wrong because I paid up for this. I paid $55 again plus there's a 10% buyer's premium so I spent about 60 bucks when certified these go for anywhere from we'll say a hundred bucks up to about 150 I'd probably put it at that higher mark next box it was the one with all the electronics so we had a bunch of these and some of those uh, Honeywell programmable thermostats this is where knowledge and getting to the auction a little bit late and not checking everything hurts you because 
I kind of got ripped off on this slot. Now I say ripped off, it's my own fault for not looking. If all these items were brand new, I thought they were because they look that way. You open the box and you can see it looks sealed. So you got the, the thermostat there, you got the instructions and you got the mounting in the box. Each of the boxes were like this. I didn't pull out the thermostats to look at them and found out that it's actually a different company's thermostat. It looks similar, but this one's made by American Standard, so it's not the same. So yeah, this is $27.50 that I spent. Well, there you go. I think I just said how much I spent. $27.50 for this lot. The These are no good. These have been in someone's house already. You can see that they have, actually, this one you can see there's a couple little wires clipped on here. This, they left all the wires clipped on. So yeah, these aren't even the same plugs, you can tell. Again, that's my fault for not opening the boxes and doing a little more research. Even those of us that do this full time make mistakes, it happens. I mean, these look perfectly good when you open the box. If this was brand new, one of these units on Amazon, it sells for about, the last one sold for $190. So but what was in here, what was supposed to be in here, I had three of them. It is what it is. Uh, these I will list on eBay and put all three of them together. Maybe I'll get my money back. I'm gonna put them at like 50 bucks for the three of them, lay them out and uh, see if I can at least get my money back. These outlets over here, I'll just have to redonate those. Now the last one was this big old box of video games. Uh, I'm just gonna pull out the boxes and come back and let you know how many there were. Okay, so yeah, I put the box down. Here's what was in there. We had a couple just regular DVDs or this might be a game, SpongeBob, best day ever. Looks like it's music. There's one PS3 game and let's see if it's in here. It's actually the wrong one. So we got a case for Rocksmith and this is Dark Souls 2 for PS3. There were some loose discs at the bottom so I'll see if those match up as I go. There were three GameCube games, Clone Wars, Pro Skater, Super Smash Brothers Melee, but I think this was something else, yeah. This has two games inside, but I think neither of these are correct. We have Super Mario Sunshine and Shadow, oh, I need my glasses for all this, uh, Shadow the Hedgehog. So we have those two GameCube games. Uh, both of them have minor scratching. So yeah, that Super Mario game, not anything here. The, the instructions are Clone Wars, that disc is in here, and Tony Hawk, empty. Let's keep my glasses on. We got two PS3 games in here. This Metro game, not there. Resistance 3 is there. So what happened was is I didn't go through every game. So I grabbed about three or four off the top, checked them, flipped them, checked the back to see if they were really scratched up or not. Everyone that I looked in that was near the top was complete. I didn't go through every game. Sometimes when you're at the auction, you don't want to show too much interest in an item because other people see you looking at it and they might get interested in it as well. So once I saw that there were a few discs in there, I thought I was good to go. Uh, obviously that's not the case, but let's keep going here. So we had four DS games. Dementium the Ward, empty. Curious Village, empty. Ace Attorney, empty. And Contra 4, empty. Now, I know some of the cases just by themselves with the instructions can sell. So maybe I can throw the four of these out here. Will someone buy just these four empty cases? Maybe. The rest of it is all 360 games. So we had this many. I will go through I won't spend five minutes doing it on camera. I'll go through them and then we'll come back and we'll see what's there. I paid for these games $17.50 plus the buyer's premium, which would be a buck seventy-five. So I paid about $19 for these games. Just in these Xbox games, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. So I paid less than a dollar a game just for these, and then anything that's over there that was complete was we'll call it free most of these are i'm gonna say fighting games 
And I'm guessing that most of them aren't worth a whole lot. But here, we'll go over the titles real quick. We've got Lost Planet, Halo 3, Call of Duty 2, Red Dead Redemption, Tomb Raider, Mercenaries 2, Red Gorilla, the Red Faction Gorilla, Rainbow Six Vegas 2, Bad Company Battlefield, and Section 8. We got Homefront, whoops, Skyrim, Gears of War 2, Metro 2033, Red Faction Armageddon, hopefully you can see these all right, Battlefield 3, LA Noir, Noir, Call of Duty, Mirror's Edge, I dropped Saints Row the Third and Enslaved. So you can see those are a lot of shooter games. I'll probably just bundle the whole lot together. I don't think any of those are worth much individually. If I can get a couple bucks a game for those in a lot, I'll call it a win. The stuff that's over here that still has cartridges in it, probably worth a few bucks. And then I'll have to look up these two games individually to see if they're worth anything, since one is a uh, hedgehog game and the other is a Mario game. So today wasn't like a huge win. I thought those electronics were going to be a huge score. Unfortunately, I messed up. It happens. You can't worry about it. You just move on to the next day. Keep chugging along. Uh, the football I'm really happy about. Hopefully that passes its authentication with no problem. And I can get the, you know, 140, 150 bucks that I think I can out of that football. All right. That's what I got. Thanks for watching, everybody. Again, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button down below and help support the channel. Give the video a thumbs up on your way out. All right. Thanks, everybody. Have a great weekend. I'll see you next time.